We have to talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. Somebody will say, oh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. These are foolish people. From the financial markets to the pharmaceutical industry, deregulation is Trump's panacea, and the internet is likely to be the next patient. Nothing suggests this more than Trump's appointment of Ajit Pai to the head of the Federal Communications Commission. We need to fire up the proverbial weed whacker and start removing those rules that are holding back investment, innovation, and job creation. Here, Pai is referring to a series of regulations put in place by the Obama administration to protect what is commonly known as net neutrality, the idea that all data on the internet should be treated equally. I'm asking the FCC to reclassify internet service under Title II of a law known as the Telecommunications Act. Title II acknowledges that the internet is so essential to our lives, it should be regulated like other utilities such as gas, water, or electricity. In practice, Title II prohibits cable companies from charging websites premium fees to stream videos or load their pages faster. Whether you're Facebook, Amazon, or a small-time blog about cats, with Title II you can reach your audiences with the same speed and ease. There are no gatekeepers deciding which sites you get to access. There are no toll roads on the information superhighway. President Obama's plan to regulate the internet is not the solution to a problem. His plan is the problem. Is Title II really such a problem? So as a consumer, right now you're used to seeing everything at once and making your choice. You have all the freedom in the world, all the choice in the world. If we kill network neutrality, that freedom goes away. It's up to the telephone and cable company to give us whatever they want uh, first and whatever they don't want last. Essentially, without net neutrality, cable companies would have the ability to dictate how and what we consume over the internet, and which websites have a chance at growth. If in 2001 we didn't have the regime of network neutrality, it's very likely that Google would never become a, a significant search engine because it wouldn't be able to pay AT&T or cable companies to deliver quickly. So technological change that is happening from startups can really be killed if we don't have network neutrality. Ironically, Pi used the same reason to argue against net neutrality. In my view, that kind of heavy-handed regulation developed eight decades ago would be a tremendous mistake uh, for the American consumer. Uh, for one thing, I think it would uh, impede investment and innovation. Ajit Pai believes that if cable companies have to comply with FCC regulation to roll out new products or expand into new geographic areas, they will simply just give up and decide that pursuing innovation isn't worth all the red tape and bureaucratic hurdles. Telecom companies say, well, if you kill network neutrality, we'll make more money, we will invest more. In, in the network. In my opinion, that's unacceptable. It's like somebody putting a gun to your head and says, unless you do what I say, I won't invest. I mean, come on. I mean, is this the way that business is supposed to happen? I strongly believe that Wall Street will put pressure on these companies, the telecom and cable companies, to give out the money they might make as dividends and not use them for investment. And that's because of the traditional position that telephone companies have had in Wall Street. So, what will the internet look like under Trump? I have a feeling it's going to be beautiful.